I think this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I think Avatar The Last Airbender, more specifically, has the best cast of female characters within any show in actual Western fiction, right? I know some of might be like, wait, but what about Teen Titans and Kim Possible and all these other shows that we all know and like? Like, I will agree that there is a lot of good ones that's out there. A lot of ones that I would say honestly do hit on the levels they need to hit right but at the very same time i would argue that avatar just knew what they were doing a bit more and kind of knew how to spread it out between characters a bit now is avatar perfect absolutely not especially when it comes to the romance category because the romance category is awful but when it comes down to just having basically almost every single female character to be likable in the damn show, they, they have the money to back that shit up. I, I would definitely say that. And as time goes on over the years, I wouldn't necessarily sit here and tell you that Avatar itself has like H legacy or Gentile legacy when it comes down to it. But I would definitely say it's a show that people definitely remember. And if we are talking about the Gentile side of it, then the only person that really carrying that is Toph because Toph is by far one of the more iconic lolly characters in just Western society as a whole. And when it comes down to it, just easily with their, you know, it's up there with like Gwen and all the others, honestly. Like that's why you that's why you see them in so many different artworks together, right? So that's just how that goes. But what makes them so damn good? It's just the fact that there's variety, to be very real with you. It's the fact that they actually, you know, are different and distinct from each other and not necessarily just one dimensional as a whole right sure you got like maybe one or two that is but majority of the characters in there is pretty damn good for what they are my only gripe is that i wish that some of the characters especially one of them that has screen time when it comes to mainly romance and whatever i wish there was like more to learn about them outside of the fact of the you know love interest type of thing right which mainly i'm gonna focus on may right because may by far is probably the character that majority of people when you first watch the show probably won't care about or don't even remember too much but at the end of it when i kind of came back some years later i'm like damn i really enjoyed the shot of may however her romance is basically the only reason why she's in the damn show which is unfortunate which is hella unfortunate i would actually like to have learned a bit more about who she is what she do all that type of stuff in higher depth in detail than basically anybody else because hell Ty Lee was in the same damn group as her and Azula and when it comes down to it Ty Lee has more understanding of why she is the way she is what she do and all that sort of stuff but May has none of that which is why back then I was super invested into Ty Lee I love the shit out of Ty Lee how many wait you mean tell me you wouldn't want to clap that hoe you mean tell me you wouldn't want to clap her ass right has so much flexibility I don't even know what to do with all that shit so when it comes down to it though you know damn well it's about that Ty Lee life plus she's a bundle of positivity so why not but may on the other hand can't necessarily have that because she's hella negative and not necessarily as flexible but still a clap though right so that's just how that goes but still nonetheless there's not much we know about that character outside of the whole zuko thing that's literally it and it's unfortunate as shit so it doesn't surprise me that she doesn't have like a lot a lot of content when it comes to gentai and all that sort of stuff or people backing her up in a way we have some people now but not as much as i would have liked to see right and that's just again kind of goes on with the problem of just not giving them anything to do outside of romance and whatever which avatar really just failed at outside of Sokka to be very honest with you so that's just kind of how that goes and I like the shit out of May now like absolutely again Zuka don't want her I'll take her but besides the Fire Nation hoes obviously we got like the main heroes and whatever which again I don't think I need to talk about Toph too too much because Toph is just goaded with the sauce blind ass character that still can whoop your ass and which was the coolest thing I've ever seen literally ever so there's not really much to say Kazara is literally the type of character that's like can't, that can't come up as a Karen right I think she is the character that I would probably say I had the least connection with the most because of how much aggressive 
independent ass energy she was trying to have which is like oh great you're one of those type of people right but at the very same time that doesn't mean i hate the hell out of the character either but still nonetheless katara would not be like first option if anything but i will say out of the three people that mainly has good content in avatar katara do have like some solid shit though 100 i think a lot of people would sacrifice a lot of things for that alaskan booty one character i knew i didn't necessarily like back then as a kid but suddenly started liking now which was also suki right i'll be completely honest with you when everybody was tripping about the whole clowns and the mimes and the jesters everybody just looking all kind of crazy wanting to clock those type of characters i'm not gonna lie the only time where i was like damn suki kind of fine is when she was in her kiyoshi warrior fit not gonna lie when she was wearing the damn kiyoshi warrior makeup looking like a geisha or orion not gonna hold you i was like yo so you can get it that, that that's peak but then when she took it off i was like nah that that's 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 trash that's not it but now i'm kind of like both versions are great both are good because i don't know what the hell i was tripping off of when i was a kid suki is actually pretty damn fire Sokka bagged a good one when it comes to her like yeah she may not be strong yeah she got captured by the fire nation but hey that's still a woman worth saving though like she literally did not necessarily sit here and abandon this man for absolutely any type of reason right yeah they might got into some arguments you might have to deal with some things but you got a pretty good one she reminds me of like videl from dragon ball of it she gives me videl vibes if i'm being honest so again you got a pretty good ass pick and suki content is kind of just hit or miss like there is some content out there that's pretty damn good on her but at the same time it's not necessarily like that peak is the peak but it can be pretty damn good and then i'm not even mentioning like the characters that only had like a one-off like that one chick that was in the fire nation school that was trying to you know get with ang or whatever with that whole fire nation dance she was kind of all right not really too much of a character but kind of okay then you also had the whole you know earth kingdom fine lady that zuko was about to get some with because yes yeah, she was about fine i think her name was like june or something like that like definitely no i think it was jen clapping the cheeks of jen holy crap she was like really damn fine as all hell i could i could see why zuko said like you know what? i'm gonna have to risk the biscuit for tonight i can understand that shit she was kind of thirsty as hell right probably had you know like five other people before zuko so it wouldn't it wouldn't even be a surprise honestly and then i think one of the most underrated one-off characters that we ever had which was the one chick from the superstition village which called katara a damn floozy i kind of feel like we should have given her a bit more of a comeback a bit more of screen time in some shape and form so you know to be honest with you because i kind of liked her <laughs> i kind of liked how snippy and jealous this chick was towards katara I, i'm not gonna hold you that shit was kind of funny and then the last woman i could say is possibly azula because to be real with you i did not give a shit about azula at all i was not about to riz i was not about to try to you know clap cheeks nah i wanted her ass on the ground for good i literally want her ass to be taken down completely get the fuck off of my court you lame ass trash ass niggas you should feel fucking humiliated because how trash y'all are i just saw the game bitch ass nigga Okay, ladies, that was fun. But then there was a moment in time where I did finally simp and kind of just say, okay, I can see why people want Azula now, which is quite literally the time she took off her makeup and just was like in the bed trying to rizz up her own damn brother, essentially. And I was like, oh, oh, so you like that? And yeah, that, that was that was basically the that, that's what sealed the deal, essentially, right? You know that that just that just kind of is what it is when it comes down to it. So yeah, that's like the time. That's like the only and first time where I was like, yeah, I, I need some Azula cake right now. Get your ass in the damn bed, lady, one hundred percent. So yeah, and then when you combine Azula, Ty Lee, and May together, you get the Fire Nation girls. <laughs> bitch so overall i wouldn't say avatar has you know the best characters but i would say they have better characters in majority of shows that is out there especially now and some of the shows from the past right not saying every character is oh it beats out like other characters from different shows 
but I would say they are most notable and rem and you can definitely remember them, right? Especially someone like Toph. Like, there's not many characters who are blind or who has like some type of disability who are actually cool and don't need to be put in some type of weird ass agenda thing or anything like that. So it's just nice to see, you know, that there was a character like that back then. Let me know, who is your favorite woman in Avatar The Last Airbender when it comes down to it? Or just in general, but because I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. That's basically about it though. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on the way out. Also follow me on the socials and the like to donate to the channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Woodjay signing off. Have a blessed day.